गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल Isha, uh, are you ready with your presentation for opening remarks? Can we start? Yes, Isha, please unmute your mic and start. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Last uh, last session we discussed about report writing. What is report? Uh, what is report how to report right which things and which points are mentioned in a report and uh, ma uh, main point is uh, you know, defining the purpose what pu what purpose uh, and i we can write the report the report can be written for various purpose and uh, and other point reliability and uh, relevance the fact and details in the report should be reliable and the report is uh, uh, keep it short and uh, simple and we discuss about uh, what is the type of report and uh, what is the structure of report today we discuss uh, for, uh, format of the re report writing reports are divided into section with uh, heading and subheading reports can be academic technical or business oriented and uh, further for the recommended recommendation for specific action reports are written to pre present to facts about situation project projector process and will define and analysis analyze the issue at hand thank you sir okay thank you isha Fine. welcome sir okay so uh, was uh, isha who shared her opening remarks right which was in a way closing remarks for yesterday that she could not present it because of technical issue so today uh, as i told you in the last class we will uh, talk about uh, further report writing so uh, yesterday we had a discussion on uh, what report writing is right we touched upon the fundamental parts here today we'll uh, go through examples right okay so uh, opening remarks was deepen and isha but uh, you know, she did it uh, so we'll go with the new section okay before going for Uh, further what we can do is we can very quickly revisit or recap what we did in the last class fine okay so today's opening remarks was by isha and closing remarks uh, kayur and parth right uh, kayur and parth uh, are you both comfortable today to share the closing remarks Sure, sir. Okay. Kyu, is Kyu present today? Yes, sir. Done. Ready. Done. Okay. Thank you. So let's go with this. Okay. Now, uh, in the last class, what we did is we talked about what is report writing. We talked about it that it is a description of an event. It analyzes specific thing. Right. It's a kind of formal in nature. and uh, it is a kind of internal communication majorly right broadly but it can be for uh, an outside the source because those who are stakeholders right uh, they can get this report or they can write the report okay now uh, we can revisit that uh, that was objectives of report writing to uh, present or you know to present a record of accomplished work whatever we have done we can go for it even we can uh, record a kind of experiment there is also a report we can record uh, a research findings or technical specification this will be helpful to you uh, for you people uh, if you are planning for patent see in computer there is a copyright in ip ipr 
but if you go with mechanical or uh, civil where there is a physical product so where you can go with patent you can register a patent for the particular design right the condition is that it should be a one specific in a process you can have a, a patent on the process and the final product so uh, you will be surprised to know that there are more than 25000 patents registered on toothbrushes when we do this when we brush our teeth half open eyes right that toothbrush has 25000 plus patents registered and i tell you that there are no 25000 scientists right in the society many of them are like you and me it is not necessary that you should you should be a kind of scientist to register a patent it's a very easy process and it does not cost you if you do it on your own now uh, uh, why i'm telling you is to uh, to file a patent you need to give a document about your uh, about the specification of your process and the product that is a kind of research type of thing that you have researched this and this is the process there also a kind of report right is a, a, a very important document for us then uh, time table milestones uh, long term short term planning and all so these are the things that you know uh, we go for right uh, there can be inspection audit so we prepare a kind of report there can be changes in the policy uh, very recently google has shared a policy update for google works assistant so this is what a kind of report and your report is generally uh, shared on annual basis where the companies share their profits uh, profit margins what they have done what what things have been carried out by the company what are the milestones each and every minute thing you know they cover in the pro project report annual report and they submit to the stakeholders then uh, we can present organized information to a particular topic it can be uh, for a particular department For example, there can be a, a annual report or a particular report for um, production department, R and D department like this. Okay, it can be there to recommend actions that can be considered in solving certain problems. So, this is what the uh, the uh, no the area we are going to touch upon today. So, uh, in G two exam, you are asked report writing in a letter format or memo format. To these two things, you need to understand. and you will be asked a kind of question where they mention that there is a problem or there is a typical issue you need to uh, investigate for the issue and recommend the uh, solution this would be our work okay uh, characteristics it should be reader oriented right it should define a purpose so i told you that without purpose in corporate in formal writing there is no space right so this is not hang out it is a typical uh, corporate world organization that everything has a purpose mm -hmm. okay uh, reliability and relevance so you need to uh, you know provide mm -hmm. you need to provide uh, uh, facts and figures so that people can rely people can trust your uh, data and it should be related to your the given task you need to keep it uh, simple short and simple i told you last uh, in the last class i given you one homework that you find out that who was that that person who invented this word or uh, who is related to this word kiss is there anybody who has good idea or who could search the person who stood against uh, abraham lincoln for the presidential election of us any idea vodafone airtel bsnl whatever so today i am going to ask kyu and path for all uh, kelly johnson no it's not the right answer it was roosevelt roosevelt was very uh, no no not edward roosevelt was very uh, what we call it knowledgeable person and uh, lincoln was friendly social right so roosevelt was little bit frustrated once and he said that i i know better than uh, abraham lincoln so i have more ideas i have more knowledge but thing is that why people love lincoln and not me the way people love lincoln 
and uh, Roosevelt's wife, you know, she replied to Roosevelt that kiss. Roosevelt got embarrassed that what is this nonsense? I'm talking about my career, political career, and you are being you know, romantic. And she said that keep it simple, stupid, or keep it simple, silly. Keep it simple, silly. That means kiss. That means Roosevelt was the person who used to be a kind of Sasi Tharoor, right? He used to make things so twisted and so typical that people uh, used to, you know, uh, face problems in understanding. And Lincoln was very easy to understand. So here, from there, I thought that you know, this word can be taken up, right? Okay. Adequate language. So as I told you, the uh, formal language, informal language, there are types of languages, language for spoken English, you know, language for written English. So all, all are different things, right? And uh, this is the problem that we face. For example, when you, when you go for a spoken English and you turn to written English, you try to write the way you speak. And then you face a problem. Fine. For example, uh, I got a call. I got a call. That means somebody called you. But you cannot say, I got a letter. You need to say that I received a letter. Both is about taking something. But thing is that when we when you go for spoken, right, we use we say that I got. We use the word get. And when we talk about written, right, we use the word verb receive. Things are same similar, but thing is that there is a hairline difference. When you use English language as a pro, right? When you are expert or you are communication expert, right? You need to make sure that uh, every word that you use, right, that has got appropriate, that it should be apt, or as per the situation. In that way, it can make the difference. So we need to understand this. See, basic things you know, right? There is time has gone where you go for spoken English, but you need to understand that word usage, where to use which word. So here, uh, kiss would help you, and adequate language would help you. Okay, it should be properly structured and well organized, right? So even uh, neat and tidy things uh, is liked by everybody, right? So you need to go in that way. There are types of letters. Uh, descriptive analytical reports. We'll go for descriptive types of letters and analytical report means we find lots of analysis. Fine. So here, when you are asked to investigate something and submit a report, so then you will investigate and submit the report, there will be analysis, right? Based on analysis, the uh, company will or uh, higher authority will take decisions, right? You need to understand in that way. This was the question. Which has which has been asked uh, in the last exam in November 2019. In the, the current exactly last year, last exam, a serious accident had taken place at a company plant few days ago. As a manager of the plant, prepare a detailed report on it with a view to uh, the causes, damage done, and the precautions for uh, for future. So here I explained a little bit yesterday because we we were running short of time yesterday. That's why. So here you just uh, break the entire question into parts. Fine. Number one, the first line says that one serious accident had taken place at a company plant few days ago. That means your company has a plant right over there. There was an accident few days ago. As a manager of the plant, that means you yourself as a manager. So when you write your faithfully signature, there should be your name as a manager. Prepare a detailed report. You need to prepare a report. Right. In your report, what you need to include is what were the causes, why this happened, what was the reason for the accident, number one, what was the damage, and number three, what should be the precautions taken in, in the future. Hello. Yeah. Uh, is there anybody uh, who has a question or query? Is it clear up to now? Everyone? Okay, great. Fine. Uh, feel free to unmute your mic and speak, right? Whenever there's a question, you just pose me and tell me, right? Okay. Uh, I request everybody not to leave the class because I have one plugin with me 
right that monitors your consistency in that class fine right? so if you if you just join and leave right if you do that frequently right i may not consider your attendance fine i know that you people are very uh, sincere but we need to take care fine about it okay so if you look at this these are the three things and we will write this this point today in this session so that you get idea right okay so we we can go for the examples okay part can you can can you see this uh, pdf file i have redirected from uh, ppt yes sir okay so uh, this is from my book uh, the entire book i am going to share with you people right uh, this is one sample seven pages i have extracted from this from the book right uh, for your reference now uh, report writing in a letter format so when we talk about letter we know about letter sir what are the what is the format of letter in any letter you will find that the heading would be excuse me sir yes. it's been disappeared disappeared oh my god okay that's mm -hmm. good i guess now you would be able to see this fine yes sir okay okay now if you look at this report right in the top of it you will find that it is written surya industries and if you go back right down and you will find there is also in the inside address there is written surya industries that means it is a kind of internal communication it is a kind of internal communication that means the person from surya industries himself Right, so it's a right. Is a part of Surya Industries and is writing to Surya. Right. Okay. Uh, as I told you that every city has MG Road. MG Road stands for Mahatma Gandhi Road. Fine. End the bar. Uh, you can write more about it if you if you wish to write. But this can be enough. You can have. Uh, you can also uh, write here a kind of logo. Fine. And uh, whatever you wish, you can go for it. Okay. then date line in date you can write uh, 1st september 2013 or september 1 whatever you wish but 1 oblique 9 should not be there okay then inside address i have used close punctuated that's why it is 2 comma the managing director comma city industries comma mg road comma and the bar if you go with open punctuated form in that case there is no need for writing or uh, adding comma at the end of address lines right okay then you go with dear sir here you can go little bit formal that uh, dear mr uh, dear uh, respected sir right uh, here you can write for example dear mr sharma dear mr rajiv you can write such kind of thing if you wish there should be comma without fail subject report on the reasons and solutions of the uh, of the labor's dissatisfaction at our industry now the question if you look at this when uh, one wants to write uh, uh, okay the question has not been given question is write a report right uh, for the labor's dissatisfaction and what are the reasons and solutions so you can form a question and based on that so you can directly copy the question we phrase it and put it there as a subject now the first paragraph 
first paragraph will always be right related to the reference that from where you could get the reference right because it is not uh, you people that you initiated that i want to do this right you have been asked task has been given to you so you need to mention that first that in response to our your directions given to me in response to with reference to your letter with reference to your email you need to mention like that on 20th of august uh, 20th you receive instruction and on 1 september you mention so this is technical you need to understand this the date on the date you receive the task and you complete the task there should be gap of 10 days not more than that i present here my report on the reasons and solutions for the of the labor's dissatisfaction at industry so it's a very first paragraph is very common up to here first paragraph anybody can write irrespective of you know knowledge about language or whatever you say and up to here if you write out of 7 marks you are intended to get intended to get 3 marks minimum fine and then it comes the way uh, the main thing reasons and recommendations ideally i wish that you know we write three reasons and three recommendations three suggestions not more than that fine because uh, uh, for seven marks you get 15 minutes maximum right if you consider two minutes for one mark keeping things in mind so in that context you should write three reasons and three recommendations i don't tell you don't misunderstand in a way that there should be three sentences only there can be two or three points club in one but it should not be too big right i have written here for a reference that this is the length you can you know write but keeping in mind your time based on your marks for the given question you should understand you should adjust look at the first reason the first cause of the dissatisfaction is the low pay scale right so we can underline this this was the first problem low pay scale the prices of essential commodities are rising higher uh, day by day so the problem is right they are the prices are being rising rising every day you know and their pay scale is the thing that the salary is not increased the price of the essential commodities is increased that's a problem therefore the employees union is demanding 20% rise in their basic salaries and 30% in their dns allowance this is little bit technical i tell you 20% and 30% basic salary and dns allowance the students whose parents are uh, are you know uh, having government job they would understand or they may ask their parents that salary break up that means the basic salary then uh, you have dns allowance then hr allowance and medical allowance and all that it is club and that gives you a kind of uh, on a total that is your gross salary then there are some deductions like prof, uh, uh, provident funds and all that that is the after deduction you get your net salary so gross salary salary your basic salary plus all your allowances benefits you get that total mix your gross salary and whatever deduction tds tax deduction at source fine your uh, professional tax provident fund all these things when it is deducted it becomes your net salary right now whatever your basic salary is based on your basic salary every you know other allowances are based on that 20% allowances that means if your salary is 15000 so 15 into 2 30000 percentage right so 20% so that should be at 33000 rupees of rise and 30% in dns allowance that means if your dns allowance is 60% there should be 90% that means if your salary is 15000 15000 
90% of 15,000. And that would be added to that salary. Right? It is a little bit complex calculation, but we will not go in detail about it. But when you go with the placement, when companies will come, right, they'll give you. They have typical word C2C and take home. C2C is cost to the company, total package, gross salary, and take home is your you know net salary that you that you that comes in your hand in a way. Right? Okay. I think I, I uh, confused everybody. Is it hard? Yes, sir. A little bit. Okay, fine, fine. No issue. Uh, uh, if I get time or if I get some format right, uh, I'll share for a rapid. Here you need to understand that if you plainly write that, there should be 20% 20% rise in their salary. That's all. You can write like this. That will do. Bonus is second reason for the unrest. Unrest means debt satisfaction. Unrest is equal to dissatisfaction. Our employees are not satisfied with 9.33% bonus. Right? So we need to go with more. So this is another reason. Third reason is our employees do not get the benefits such as graduity and the pension scheme. Fine. They demand such kind of benefits. So graduity is something after working in a company for five years, when you relieved from the company, you get a certain amount as a loyalty bonus. Fine. Pension is something you get after retirement as your salary, right? Certain percent of your salary you get every month after working in the company. Fourth one is lack of facilities like transport service, accommodations, primary and secondary schools, a welfare center with a good library and facilities for games and sports uh, cause dissatisfaction among them. See, uh, this is something extra. And uh, the workers are becoming a little bit more luxurious. This is not Google, this is a Surya. But they, they demand like this, that there is no transport service. Accommodation is not there. Primary, secondary schools are not there. But there is a big company right, that can be there. So we are talking about all possible things. We can pick and choose certain things from this report. This report can be the ideal one, and you can find out more options, more ideas to create your own findings. They want all these facilities which are provided in, in many multinational companies across India. So they are trying to compare Surya as multinational company. The employees also ask for a well-equipped Hospital having a family planning department with one surgeon, five doctors, ten nurses. The hospital should have maternity department too. So there is a big question that uh, what is the purpose of coming to the work, right? But thing is that when there are big companies where people are coming from different areas and they need such kind of uh, guidance, right? So we can mention that. Here, instead of maternal maternity and uh, family planning, we can mention that primary health, you know, center should be there in the company. The present working conditions add into their uh, predicaments, right? It adds their, you know, displacement or uh, their uh, problems. They are not comfortable working in the dirty area. So there is a lack of cleanliness. Fine. They want general cleanliness and proper ventilation. So the uh, working environment is not proper. That's why they face a problem. They are not contented, contented, satisfied. Unrest, dissatisfied with the canteen facility. We have only one canteen with the capacity of accommodating only 50 persons at one time. And the canteen provides them only with lunch, but not with soft drinks and snacks. Right? So this, they need you know, snacks along with the pythons. Okay. So uh, that's the thing. Sixth one is mistreatment of senior officials. This is common thing that you know find uh, in college you find ragging, in corporate you find mistreatment. Right? Uh, it's often been a uh, matter of complaint for them. Workers expect humanly treatment from seniors. They want respectful and responsive conduct from seniors. This is a big problem. Right? Even uh, uh, police department is facing such kind of problems nowadays. 
which is there in the social media right as mentioned in the final uh, final ultimatum given by the employees union they will go on an indefinite strike if they do not take their complaints into the consideration within 15 days time so they have given the stipulated time this is the time limit they have they have also received support from other trade unions and political parties so this is something you know frightening that you know there, there can be a problem the strike may cause a huge loss to our business and may dent our reputation dent dent means damage we find dent in the car when when our car collides with some other car or some other thing right we find the dent so here dent is a symbolic one therefore some recommendations for these issues are given below so here six things are there see everywhere it is written may should can like this because you are a junior you cannot uh, order somebody but you are senior but you can suggest you can request if you look at the recommendations recommendations is equal to suggestions you can write either or the management should call the labor leaders and pursue them that certain amenities cannot be given immediately for example uh, certain things require time for example quarter school training center hospital right that they cannot you know do in you know uh, one year or 15 days time it requires five years but we can decide so number one we can uh, try to mitigate or overrule their argument without further delay the management should have negotiation with the labor leaders and try to settle their demand for rise in basic salaries and bonuses so we can definitely go with the uh, whatever the demand is for basic salary and bonus we can go with that transport service welfare center film shows provident fund gratuity pension and good canteen should be settled at the earliest date these are the things which which may not require more time so it can be done in the short period of time it can be done within 3 years of where other things which are which requires more infrastructure that can be addressed within 5 years so this is what we can we can share i hope that report will this is last paragraph right last paragraph and first paragraph right will remain same almost every time so i hope that the report will give you an insight into the causes of the problem and will help you to take up appropriate steps i would be glad to provide any clarification or additional information required in this regard right sir you are sincerely uh, you can write any name and secretary right if it is mentioned that as a secretary you will prepare a report you write secretary here if it is mentioned that you will prepare a report as a manager you write manager here right okay now in a memo format memo format is easy one if it is asked that you know write a report in a memo format right you can go definitely right because it is easy to write and you will get less time to prepare okay so the way we have the way we have this uh, title christ institute of technology in the bath right inter office memorandum we need to mention like this memo is a short form of memorandum okay uh, 1st september 2013 date we need to mention here date colon and date then two from subject you look at this format format is very important right okay from ss rawal health and safety officer subject inspection of college canteen in response to see here mr rawal write like this a response to your directions given to me on 20th august i made an inspection at our college canteen here i present my report findings and recommendations date is 1st september so it, it takes around 10 days so 10 to 12 days if you take as a buffer will it do right yeah that it will do right okay so here there is nothing like you know uh, paragraphs and all you will write simply in the plain language findings right number 1 the hygiene standards of the company is not satisfactory the company is canteen food left over from lunch is stored in the fridge the fridge is not defrosted at regular intervals 
the general cleanliness is not maintained in the kitchen the water provided to the students is not purified the dining tables are not clean properly now you just imagine that you just uh, you can imagine any canteen and you can find our five ports you write down this i suggest the following recommendations warning should be given see the word here it is written should be given should be given to the managing staff of the canteen regarding the general cleanliness number 2 water purifiers should be here water purifiers should be installed to provide pure and hygienic water the canteen manager should be warned that food left over after lunch should not be stored and should not be sold next day fine last paragraph is as it is very easy and simple i hope that report will give you an insight the same thing what we write uh, what we written in the letter format it will go with the same thing in memo format too your sincerely ss rahul now we will not write here uh, his resignation because we have mentioned here his resignation health and safety officer fine here if you wish to write name to mr ak shrivastav when the director you can write like this and it is preferred that you don't now leave another line health and office you know safety officer should be written here after mr rahul ss rahul coma and the designation okay so up to now is there any issue any doubt question query students Okay, great. Fine. So what shall we do is we'll come back to yes okay can you see the question which was asked in november 2019 hello part can you can you see this yes sir okay. yes sir so uh, you need to uh, write three words three points for the reason of damage why damage happened what can be, it can be short circuit Uh, heavy rain whatever that comes to your mind and three precautions right i'll ask so for that i give you how much time you want 5 minutes five minutes to prepare three points the reasons for the damage and three points for precautions you don't need to write and plan entire sentences right just find out a word and discuss after 5 minutes i'll ask you 10 13 and 18 i'll ask you
I have shared this report format PDF file in our WhatsApp group. So if you wish, you can uh, have a look at it. One more minute. Done, everybody. And tell me if you have a question or query. If you are not able to find out, or if you are not getting the things, I can help you. Can you start and we start? Sir, just a moment, please. Okay, okay. Take your time, no problem. You need to find out only three words. How to articulate into words that I'll explain in the next lab because this week we'll go for that only. I want to ignite your thinking process. In today's class, that's all.
no worries. Uh, I have shared the PDF with you people. You can verify it with your own. Fine. Okay. So before we go for attendance uh, part, Kayur, can we have closing remarks? Yes, sir. Okay. So who will come first, Kayur or part? Sir, I will be coming first. Okay, part. No problem. Okay, so good, up. good morning, everyone. We are here with our easy lecture. Okay, in the beginning, only the show shared the shocking fact like 25,000 patents registered on the truth bus. Uh, it's very amazing. Uh, sir, also uh, put a light on how to file a patent, how to do some research things. Uh, also, shared some information regarding annual report, its analysis to document some current status and uh, uh, one uh, good long thing that uh, there is hairline difference and uh, as per the situation we should use it and uh, though we know the basic things about uh, speaking of English but uh, we are lagging behind in the usage of that so we should keep in mind that and we should learn this and uh, one example was given of report writing, which was uh, based on internal communication. And uh, one golden tip was there that a uh, memo is easy to prepare rather than writing a report. Okay, And uh, then some brainstorming work was done by Sir. That was very good. So that's all. OK, thank you, Bart. Yes, Q. Yes, sir. I'm ready. Yep. Okay, please. Good morning, friends. Today, sir, taught us about how to write report using different examples. And sir, also tell us that report should be any format like a uh, letter format, memo format. Uh, and in this, we we should add uh, problems and why why we write this report and um, recommendations. And memo is easy to write then. Uh, Hello. Memo format is easiest to write than letter format. Thank you. Okay, great. Fine. Thank you very much, Kayur. Uh, Kayur and Parth, uh, they covered almost everything uh, which I explained today in the class. So uh, during this week, you know, when we have a lab, I guess we have a lab tomorrow uh, for a batch. So we'll be talking about We'll be talking about uh, how to write reports. So I'll be having more discussion on it, along with the report writing. Uh, we'll have also practice for letter writing, right? Because you were not there in the last lab, I guess, you know, we could not conduct it. So we'll have double things to do uh, today, uh, tomorrow in the lab, you know, lab A batch. Okay, so now we'll go for uh, attendance so that, you know, uh, everybody can feel that they were present. Okay. Taking attendance in Excel, you know, gives you an idea or a flavor that sir is in the class. Okay, Dirka? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, Meet? Repeat? Kishan? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Fine. Kushal? Yes, sir. Depend? Yes, sir. You? Yes, sir. Anjana? Yes, sir. Okay. You, Dokia? Yes, sir. Niyati? Yes, sir. Okay. Henil? Yes, sir. Disha? Yes, sir. Meloni? Kapoor? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anyone who is present? Anyone who is present from 9:20? Okay. Suha Siddi. Yes, sir. Present, sir. <laughs> Part. Okay. Party. Arjit? Yes, sir. Yeshpal Singh? Sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yeah, is your 37 or 30? Uh, 33, enrollment number. Yeshpal? 33. Okay, who is 37 then? Jai, sir. Jai? Jai? Yes. Kansagra? Kansagra. Nishita, Mista, sorry. Yes, sir. Deria. Yes, sir. Okay, Mithul. Yes, sir. Mihir. Yes, sir. Mithul or Mihir? Mihir. Okay, Mithul is absent. Gay. Yes, sir. Bhavesh. Yes, sir. Okay, Krunal. Yes, sir. Fahima? Yes, sir. Sham? Jenny? Yes, sir. Nandan? Yes, sir. Isa? Yes, sir. Nirbhai? Yes, sir. Jualan? Yes, sir. Ruthvi? Present, sir. Chintan? Yes, sir. Daksh? Present, sir. Rajesh? Yes, Rajesh. sir. Yes, sir. Ravi? Yes, sir. Kushi? Present, sir. Anand? Yes, sir. Dhruv? Yes, sir. Kushal? Yes, sir. Ankit? Yes, sir. Okay. Isha Park says a meet. Yes, sir. Prayers? Yes, sir. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Karnavi? Rusty? Yes, sir. Namish? Yes, sir. Nishita? Yes, sir. Satish? Yes. Deal? Yes, sir. Aditi? Yes, sir. Harsh? Yes, sir. Alai? Yes, sir. Harshik? Yes, sir. Amit? Yes, sir. Dharmajit? Yes, sir. Kaval? Yes, sir. Pant? Present, sir. Okay, Vrunda is present. Bhavisha? Present, sir. Nandini is present. Avesh? Present, sir. Pujan? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank Excuse me, sir. Yep. Sir, uh, Yash is present. Enrollment number 97. Yes, His mic is not working. Fine. So. Okay, done. Mark present. If you have a query, you can you know, uh, send me WhatsApp on my personal number. Right, I'll, I'll mark present. No problem. I have got recording with me, so I can check it out. No problem. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh, we'll meet again next week, and uh, we'll see. I'll see you on in the lab session for more practice. Right. Thank you very much. Have a great day.